So I've seen the trend where people vlog like you're watching their close friend's story. And I did this video back in January and you guys loved it. So you know what? We're going to do it again, but we're going to do it a little bit crazier and a little bit more juicier. All the assistant tea, business calls, a summer clothing unboxing, opening up about my personal life and mental health, and watch me drive to New York for the first time and get a dope Airbnb to party on a Monday night. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are doing another vlogging like you're all my close friends story again. The last time I did this video, you guys loved this video. And I'm not gonna lie, I loved this video too. And a part of it made me wonder why I don't film like this on my channel. Like in these videos, I kind of say, fuck it. We're gonna get close and I'm gonna show you guys things I normally wouldn't post online. So today, I slept in, it is 11. I'm not gonna lie, my eyes get really weird when I've been crying or stressed out, which I've been. I don't wanna start this video with like a sad tone, but like we're being real. I've been good, I've been okay, but I've just been going through a lot of changes and a lot of like major decision making and something I've realized that I've been doing is how indecisive I am and how non-confrontational I am. There's just things you're constantly learning about yourself when you think you finally like reached like a woke great place you realize oh well there's these things I need to work on and change about myself and then it's like another layer and I just feel like lately I've just been like really having to face my fears of confrontation um, so yeah, this morning I kind of was like on FaceTime with people. I didn't obviously vlog that. So I'm starting off the day in like a weird headspace. Um, but I'm excited for today for a few reasons. I want to get like things that I need to get done in the beginning part of my day. And then the later half of my day, I am going to drive to New York City with my assistant Haley. I need it. I need to run away to the city. I need to drink a little tonight. Wait, no, that sounds bad. We're keeping that in. First things first, I gotta get things done today. I also wanna feel good. I don't know if you can tell, but I have like Nikki's crying eyes. My skin, I need to exfoliate it. I gotta give myself a blowout. I wanna give myself a tan. I also have business calls. I have to edit a thumbnail. I gotta post a video. There's like things I gotta get done on the behind the scenes end, and then I get to go party in New York City. So that's what my day's gonna look like. And yeah, I'll bring you guys along. Haley, my assistant, is here. She brought me my Starbucks. Where is the Starbucks? I put it on your desk. It's in my closet? Cool. I'll let you know when there's like 10 minutes for, before your appointment too. Okay. Hello. Wait. Hey, Dan. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, sorry, I was vlogging. Um, All right, bye. That went well. I'm gonna shower. Normally is the time I post on Instagram, but I don't really have anything in mind that I think I wanna post, so we're not gonna post today. Um, yeah, I'll bring you guys along since we're on our close friends. We're gonna get close. As I was in the shower, I started thinking about just like ways that I can better myself. I sound like Kylie Jenner. This is the year of realizing things. Like, ugh, to get more in detail, um, I don't take vitamins and that's something I want to change. I also just started thinking about like what I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, just like how I communicate. You know, you can't fix everything all at once, but I know what I want to fix. And I just feel like showers are just like where you literally think deep. So yeah, Haley, my personal assistant is here. She's in the living room. That's something I wanna talk about. Like I feel like while I do my skincare routine, I just wanna like talk about having a personal assistant. My life, it's really relatable and then it's really not relatable. And the part that's really not relatable about my life is that I have an assistant because not everybody has an assistant. And I know it sounds really bougie of me, but my entire YouTube career, I actually did everything myself. Like I didn't have an editor, I didn't have an assistant. It felt great because I'm a control freak, but I wasn't doing things I wanted to do in the big picture. I was getting lost in the day to day because only I could get through the day to day. And I had to put together my videos and contact and call places and I had to book my trips and I had to run my calendar and um, I accidentally hired an assistant in 2020 and now I don't know how to go back to not having one because it, it's been such a good investment. I feel like I've actually been able to do things I want to do in life because I'm not just like locked inside doing everything. But Haley right now is like, if you want to know what she does, 
she is just an extra me and that's my approach to having an assistant but yeah having a personal assistant if you run like a clothing brand is a lot different than having a personal assistant as an influencer and a musician because they're gonna be doing some interesting things like it's just not conventional but yeah yeah, I was just talking to the camera about like how weird it is, like how I really need an assistant and how I really benefit from it, but how weird the position is. Like it's not what you think it is. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot of assistant videos too on YouTube that are a little misleading where it's like not how it is. What would you say is like the weirdest, like the thing you never thought you'd have to do for this job? Like what's like the weird things like from your perspective? Blanky. 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 We're not gonna talk about Blanky. Yeah, Blanky, she needs her own assistant. Oh. I think it's time we reveal it. Here's We're gonna one. sound crazy. Oh, she knows right where the uh, the first one is. Here's one blank. Wait, there's, this is the most embarrassing thing about my life. We had to buy multiple pairs Shh. because we misplaced one or two. Can you go grab the others in my bed and on the couch? I like have to show them the severity of this. I can't outgrow my blankie problem. I'm literally 27. I don't know if it's an anxiety thing. I used to have a blankie that recently got thrown away. Like last year, Gabby's assistant threw it out thinking it was a rag. That's how bad it looked. Until Gabby let me borrow these pair of shorts one day when I was hungover leaving her house. <laughs> and I realized, oh my God, this feels like the pillowcase that I lost. So I never gave her the shorts back. I washed them and I made them my blankie. Then Haley finds the, the listing of the shorts, orders like five or six of them and was like, here. So now I have like five of these laying around my apartment and I never lose one. So that's the story of my blankies. We do an extensions today. All right guys, so I have my call in 10 minutes, but I also forgot I have this like fake tanning spray, which works amazing, but it involves, you know what it involves, Haley? This is one of those weird moments that you don't think as an assistant job and titles. Haley's gonna give me a little spray tan in a bottle. We're gonna quickly do the spray tan so while I'm on the call it's setting and then after the call I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay. Oh my god we're like getting so close. And we're bronzed and it looks super natural and it's 2 p.m. exactly so I'm on time for my call. It's a video call so hello. Hi. Well hello everyone excited to touch base the next era, like where do we see this going and what can I do to help make that more obvious? Like when people see my artist name, Nikki Demar, I want them to have an image, a color palette, just very Nikki things associated with my name. We got an exciting package in the mail. I'm so fucking excited. So, you know, I went to Coachella. I was on tour. I feel like I've been going, going, going. I actually stopped buying specifically everyday summer clothing. Clothing to go out to dinner with your parents or grandparents. Clothing to wear to go out to lunch. Clothing when you're just running errands. And I also noticed I don't have summer going out outfits. So... That's what we shopped, that's what we picked out. Okay, so the first thing I got from White Fox is this sweatshirt that says White Fox, and it's black and white. These are the shorts that the sweatshirt came with. So yeah, this is actually a set. I got this cute little dress because I've been invited to a lot of places to go out lately. So we got ourselves a little black dress. I saw this online and I had to buy it. It's a sparkly bra. I also don't have any corsets that cover my whole torso. A lot of them are cropped corsets. So this was a must. I literally forget what I ordered. Oh, we needed some basics. This corset crop top just spoke to me. We got this. I also got a white tube top that has like little slits down the side. Oh, this top actually comes together. You actually have this little bra that comes with this cardigan. I bought this top because it came with a long skirt to go with this plain black top. I also needed normal pants that weren't low rise. I also got these high-waisted black leather pants because again all the black pants I have are low rise. Last but not least we got swimsuits because you know it is almost summer. This is the one I'm really excited about. I have to show you guys first. It is the zebra. I would have worn this 
in high school. I also got this black one that has like gold detailing that says White Fox in the middle. The bottoms also have the gold detail. I also bought colored plain triangle swimsuits that are just a triangle top, normal tie bottoms. And I got it in purple and red because lately I've been loving those colors. Okay, so I had my call, unboxed my stuff. Now I gotta start getting ready to go into the city. I gotta pack my bag, eat something, and then head out to New York City. All right, guys, I put on my white fox set. It's actually really, really cute. I have to make my thumbnail for the Shein video that's going up today. Haley made me this breakfast. Thank you, Haley. It's really good. I feel like lately, like everybody like wants to know about my life. I've seen so many comments saying Nikki and Gabby are being secretive to push their music, blah, blah, blah. Like literally, absolutely not. I wish, I think my music would benefit from me being honest. I think it's challenging, but also I think there'd be more chaos in my life if I was honest about everything. A part of our decision making was you guys. It's like, well, but the fans, well, what do we say to the public? And then we started realizing through therapy, like that's not the way to make decisions as an adult. Like you gotta think about yourself first before you bring anything online. So that's that. I just finished the thumbnail. Let me give you the backstory. And if you haven't watched that video, go watch it because that was the video before this video. <laughs> So, update. I am almost done packing. I feel like you guys have seen me pack and unpack enough on this channel, so I didn't, I didn't vlog, okay? And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna head over there and I'm gonna drive to Brooklyn. We got everything packed. Let's go. Saturday night at the arcade Silver coins in my head He wakes up, he gets drunk And he hides at this day Wait, 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 I am shocked guys Cause, okay, I'm not gonna show you the Airbnb yet But we're in it And like, what the we are shocked Because like when we, when I booked this It was just it for one small. night It was inexpensive, it's Brooklyn Because it's always way cheaper than being in the city and I was like, you know what, this will do. This is all I saw on Airbnb. They didn't show the rest of it, okay? They showed this. It looked like a studio. Okay, bedroom and the living room got it. And I was like, all right, that'll work for me and Haley. It's for one night. Well, then there's a staircase that goes to a beautiful rooftop with furniture and lights up there. Then you have a dining room. Then you have this dining room and then a kitchen and like a chalkboard wall and a a bathroom. There's like a bathroom. I've Another never one. seen a bathtub like this it's in so, New York City. It's so deep. Wow. Oh my god, I love it in here. Hi vlog. Jose is here. We're gonna get some content um, for White Fox in this outfit. This is a White Fox dress. <laughs> Let me be your clear background. <laughs> I'm just feeling this vibe right now. So I'm gonna wear this for pictures, but I'm gonna wear something else to go out. Uh, Guys, we're just kind of like laughing at ourselves because we're realizing how ridiculous this is that we are getting this lit on a Monday night. All right guys, it is the next day. Do you wanna know the tea? Do you wanna know the tea? Oh wait, there's mirrors. We actually didn't go out last night. We, we ended up staying in, but honestly, I, I needed it, I needed it. We drank a little, we caught up. I wanna show you guys this outfit I got. This is like the last outfit I'm gonna show you in this video. The outfit I'm wearing today to go get coffee in Brooklyn. This outfit is all from White Fox. And honestly guys, I've been loving long skirts lately because I feel like they're the alternative to sweatpants this summer, at least for me. You still look put together and then just throw on some sunglasses. I don't even have my makeup on and I, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. This was a very random vlog, but hopefully we feel closer after this. And I love doing these kinds of videos. I like the way they're edited. I like how real they feel. I, really, I literally feel like if you want to feel like you're living a day in my life, this is the realistic. Like this is the way to feel like you actually are.
there's not music in the background of your life. So sometimes it's nice to like do videos like this that aren't heavily edited. Yep, we gotta check out. I'm gonna go get coffee and then I'm going to the recording studio today and that's another vlog, so. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Instagram sees everything first and TikTok. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog, whatever that may be. Bye guys.